We are jamming now. We're gonna see what Danes was up to last time we saw him. Oh, it was when I was trying to complete those chasm quests and not last. Um, but now we're gonna see what he's actually up to as we finish those uh chasm shenanigans. All right. We got our Zhongli, which I recently respun on or rewished on. Cause check it out. Crumb. Bam. Oh. And then what? And then what? And then what? Another one. Oh. Oh, baby, a double. That's right. And And I also have a. I haven't been to finish this for a while. Story quest for. What's his name? We should finish that too. Boats are made for transferring commodities. Maybe I should do my, uh, my thingies. Maybe not, I don't know.
No. Cat beans, get out of here. Stabilize! The thunder downs up. Rise! Gather! This is order. Illusion shattered! Shudder!
waves rise high out in the open seas, I too must reach new heights of strength. What? How my left shoulder arm was enough? Solidify. There is no escape. Shudder. Fake for mercy. Stabilize.
solidify. First Dendro character... Oh, the passive talent of Floral Sidewinder is changed to this. Oh, was she just the Sumeru, like, uh, what's her name? Sumeru version of Amber? Every journey has its final day. Don't run.
Closer. Stabilize! Crush! More speed! Beg for mercy! Solidify! Illusion shattered. Motion to compel. Breath of the flame. Gather. There is no escape. Shut. This weather is a hindrance. Thunder drowns out all of.
explosion shatters. Beg for mercy. Freeze to the core. I condemn you. More speed. Let's get down to business. Solidify. There is no escape. More. Incinerate. Illusion shattered. Astra Abyss. Thank you for complete. Super colorful winged things. They're called kites. The kids in Lily love them. Hello there, dear. You look like you've come a very long way. Alert, Granny, guess. From what you're wearing, I would say. Snezhnaya. <laughs> That's right. How do you play with these kite things, Granny? When the wind picks up, you let out the string and whoosh! The kite will fly into the air, up, up, and away. Wow, that's amazing! Do you have any Mr. Cyclops ones? Mr. Cyclops? I'm sorry, I... I want to fly Mr. Cyclops high into the sky so all the kids can get to know him! Well, I can do custom builds, but I'll need some amount of reference material. Will this picture do? I drew it myself. I bring it with me everywhere. Hmm. I'll manage. Still, I must warn you that custom builds can really be quite expensive. Uh, we should 
be fine. Child was pretty generous with that entertainment fund. Um, but then again, throwing money around willy-nilly is, you know, kinda irresponsible. These funds are earmarked for Tooser's entertainment. But if there's any leftover when we're done... Either way, it's time to talk prices. No, that won't do. This amount won't even pay for the materials. <sighs> fine, fine. I've neither the time nor energy to bargain with you at my age. <laughs> I suppose this price will do. <laughs> Thanks, Granny. Worry not. Just leave it to me. Our next stop... Why don't we head to One Min Restaurant? It would be a mighty crying shame to come all the way to Leela and never try the food. Did we? Wow, where's his nose? Guys!
the short quest. Hello, welcome. Table for three? <sighs> this restaurant has a really choking smell. A choking, choking smell? smell? Oh, you must be referring to our signature spicy chili scent. Spicy chili? But I can't eat spicy food. Oh, what a pity. A person who can't eat spicy food misses out on half of life's joys. Oh, shut Is up. Is it really that bad? No, not at all. My meals have to have lots and lots of sugar, and the oil has to be extra virgin vegetable oil. Wow, Damn. we've got a real rich kid on our hands. Looks like Wanman Restaurant's dishes aren't a Tucer's taste. Maybe we should go somewhere else. Maybe we should Will that be all? Any more special requests? Uh, what do you mean, Chef Mal? <laughs> Giving the people what they want is the very reason Wanmin Restaurant exists. If I thought for one second that I couldn't make a dish to satisfy this child's taste, I would have absolutely no business calling myself a chef ever again. Yeah. Oh, there seems to be a lot of professional pride riding on this. Then we'll leave it to you, Chef Mal. We'll be eating here after all. Sure. But... Let me say this first. Special requests are going to cost you more than normal. Jeez, of Chef course, Mal. we aren't going to demand prices anywhere near as exorbitant as the likes of Lili Pavilion or Sunya Kiosk. Is it just Paimon? Or are premium custom orders in fashion lately? Still, <laughs> surely there must be a little room for negotiation, right? Right, my brother, we don't we are not made out of money. I'll be right with you. Just getting a nice piece of cake. Better get to us for a nice little price, though. Let's do seven thousand. Oh, yeah, there we go. Seven thousand. Oh, we could do less. We could do maybe six thousand. Six thousand five hundred. Hey, now, come on. I can barely cover the cost of the ingredients at that price. Me, 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 me. That's what you freaking sound like. Freaking cheapskate. Hmm, that seems a bit on the low side. You do realize these dishes will be prepared specially to your requirements, don't you? I don't like the way your eyebrows are pointing, mister. <laughs> oh, you folks. Uh Let's go with this then. Any oh, more feeling a little bit better, huh? Breaking rat. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Chef Mal. Please sit wherever you like. Your food will be here shortly. Right. Almost exactly like how my sister Tonya makes it. But this doesn't feel right somehow. Didn't we bring Tucer here to try Leo's specialties? Eh, whatever. So where do you want to go next, Tucer? I was so caught up looking for my brother when I first got here that I didn't get a good look around. Good idea! The hustle and bustle at the wharf is a specialty of Liu Harbor too. A wharf. Wow, this place is huge! 
Oh, you. So many people. Are the waves here always like this? Don't they ever freeze? Uh, given Lewis' climate, the area around the harbor's mouth probably never gets cold enough to freeze. Paimon is kind of the traveler's exclusive personal tour guide. But since this is a special occasion, Paimon can make an exception to help Tuzer get to know the place. This place is Lila's commercial hub, and it's been the biggest port in the Seven Nations ever since it was decided that Lila would take on the world through trade. Other than merchant vessels, many fishing boats and industrial transports dock here to replenish their uh, fishery supplies and daily necess necessities, which, thanks to the immense throughput capacity of the wharf, um... Ah, uh, yeah. Paimon can't remember how the rest goes anyway. Well, guess Paimon will just have to explain this Paimon style. So this harbor is like Tavat's mouth, and it's the biggest mouth you've ever seen. All the nations float their boats over the sea into the mouth. The harbor goes om nom 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 and has a taste of each boat and the cargo it has on board. Then, Lyrae Harbor rubs its big round belly in satisfaction because it's all stuffed full of delicious mora. Hey, what's that big metal hook over there? I want to see. Wait, Tuzer, don't run off. Uh, after all that, he wasn't even listening. The metal hook is huge, and it gets bigger the closer we get! This is an anchor. Docked ships use it to hold themselves in position to stop the wind and waves from blowing them away. <sighs> an anchor. Got it. But I think I might get it mixed up with Commodore Hook. Commodore Hook? Is this another one of your weird toy names? My brother always sends me a really big toy for my birthday. Commodore Hook, Black Steel Jack, Iron Tony. We keep them all in our backyard. Yeah, and that's why I can't bring them with me all the time. It's a shame. Wow, using Fatui funds for personal gain? To think Snezhnaya would let their harbingers do that. All for some giant toys. But suddenly, it doesn't seem so strange that Tusser would treat a ruin guard as a giant toy. But my favorite has to be Mr. Cyclops. Even though I mostly came here to see my brother, the other big thing I wanted to do was play with Mr. Cyclops. Oh, are they selling fish over there? Let's have a look. Some hey, babies in you. quit running off! Is this where they sell fish? Wow, the fish here in Leo are so... Small. Hey, whose fish are you calling small? Little kids shouldn't go around ruining others' business. He's just a curious kid. No need to get worked up. That said, these fish are actually pretty big by Paimon standards. Just how big are the ones you're used to, too, sir? Um, maybe 200 times your size? Hey, 200 of Paimon would squish you flat, you know. There are legends in my hometown about it. It's supposed to be a super delicious fish. I told my brother about it, and he went out to sea to catch one for me. A few days later, he returned with a humongous fish slung over his shoulder. Anthon and I were so happy. 
Are you sure that was a fish? Paimon thinks it sounds more like some sort of leviathan. Hey, Mr. Nice Guy! Let's go over there to see the boats! <sighs> What's wrong, Tuser? Are you tired? You don't seem so happy. I miss my brother. What? But we were just with him. Yeah, but for such a short time that it doesn't count. Take me to see my brother. I don't want to play anymore. Yeah, my name, I'm Omar S. But it won't help you at a time like this. Well, we've played with Tuzer long enough, haven't we? Paimon thinks we've tried our best here. Child said that he'd be by the river near Qingshu Pool. Why don't we look for him there? Yay! Let's go! Let's go! Did they rework this area? Are you kidding me?
Swirls. You'll give all your party members elemental damage bonus based on what you swirl. So if you swirl the electro, you'll give them electro damage bonus based on how much elemental mastery you have, and this will last for 8 seconds. Through this passive talent, you can double swirl, you can swirl the electro and hydro, pyro and hydro, whatever, and both all the elements you swirl simultaneously as they can coexist. Now while 0.04% are pretty even. Alright, now with that said, let's talk about what artifacts you want on your Cosmo. First of all, for the set you're looking for, it is very straightforward. The only piece of the bird as a better is obviously going to be Inverness Inventor is just a broken artifact set, I'm sure you know it by now, because it is a set that will basically just buff your entire team while also increasing your cause of that. damage by gaining 60% damage to your swirls, which is going to be one of your main damage sources as Kazuo is someone who swirls a lot, while also gaining 50% Nemo damage bonus. And while that is nice, the main reason you're using the set is actually for the second part, which will greatly amplify your team's damage, or at least the elemental DPS of whatever you swirl by increasing the elemental resistance of the swirled element by 40% for 10 seconds. Now with that said, there are some niche alternatives like using the two-piece wanders for Yam or the four-piece thundering fury in specific teams, but in general, Morbidus Vendor is just universally the best for Kazuha, especially if you're running an elemental DPS that is either Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro. Now with that said, what stats do you actually want on your Kazuha? Well, as we saw earlier, Kazuha is someone who benefits greatly from having elemental mastery. With that said, because the scalings are so high, going for crit rate, crit damage, and attack are still also beneficial to have on your substats, as he has good scalings. With that said though, the main things you're going to focus on for Kazuha are two things. First of all, energy recharge, make sure you have enough to spend your first on cooldown, as that is very important. And number two, stacking as much elemental master as you can to deal the most damage and buff your team by as much as possible. To go into a bit more details though, first of all, for energy recharge, the exact amount you need 
highly, highly varies on, you know, what team you're running and how much energy you're generating for your Kazuha. A good staple number is around 160 energy recharge, but as I said, this does highly vary. Some garbage. be a lot more or a lot less. Another really big factor to this is Favonius weapons on basically any party member but also especially on your Kazuha as the Favonius sword which we'll talk about in the very next section is a really good option for Kazuha that gives you energy recharge but also will decrease how much ER you need because of its passive effect that gives you those white particles. To keep things simple though and not make it too complicated, basically test out how much energy recharge you personally need in your team and with how you're playing but generally around 160 energy recharge is a good starting point. Other than that, going for elemental mastery on your stats is going to be recommendable because of that you can look for EM on your substats and for your specific main stats for 12 through your sands you can either go for elemental mastery or energy recharge if you need more energy recharge for your goblet you want to go for elemental mastery and for your circlet as well while anemo damage bonus and crit are viable then Of course it levels up the defense, like, the one stat that I don't need, we're gonna level that crap Ooh, up. We can definitely write this off as incidental gains.
Yeah, they redid this little cliff area. All this is new. Sometimes the law is compatible with human nature, but sometimes the two conflict. Balancing the two is a discipline in its own right. Deuce. Solidify! There is no escape! <laughs> Escape. You can't run from dead. I can put these to good use. There is no escape! Motion to compel! Time to fulfill my duty! It is a time for breaking! My duty time for action! Invisible evidence! Motion! Boom! Boom! Come on! I'm not even that close to you! Frick off! to good use. Violet grass is a plant that enjoys a moist environment and is best picked after it rains. If you should choose to pick any, be sure to store them appropriately.
Found him! There's child! Wait, he's talking to... the treasure hoarders? You know what I'm here for, I trust. Oh, you got lip. Making us guess, are you? If you want to join up, let me just say this first. Dandy kid like you, you ain't welcome. Uh ho! What a commendable imagination. Well, in the Tsaritsa's name, I suppose I should forgive you, country bumpkins, for your ignorance. For I am... Brother! You're selling them toys, aren't you, brother? That's so cool! I've always wanted to watch you work! Uh, well, why, yes, of course. For I am, a uh, The greatest toy salesman in Shnezhnaya! Uh, so cool! Huh? You playing games, pretty boy? So, will you buy or not? The toys that Shnezhnaya produced three months ago will run you... Yes, 600,000 mora. To be paid in full. T toys And <laughs> how much money? Wow. Is that what it's gonna cost to fix that head of yours? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! Spreading joy and laughter to everyone! That's what toy selling's all about! I'll say it again. Toys from Shnezhnaya, three months prior, 600,000 mora paid in full. Yeah, no. Sorry, salesboy. The same joke isn't funny twice. Or were you always cruising for a bruising? <sighs> All right then. I'll make things a little easier for you. I'll join the treasure hoarders. Perhaps you'll be more willing to pay when we're brothers in arms? <laughs> Would you listen to yourself? You think we just let any old person into the treasure hoarders? I'm not so sure you could hack it. <laughs> well then, why don't you put me to the test, dear seniors? I like to think of myself as quite talented in the field of treasure hunting. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like you're not gonna pack it up until someone packs you in. Alright then. Show us what you got. Truth be told, we've set up a shop here because there's a fine little loot cave nearby. But the treasure hasn't been easy to get at. We've been at it for two days now. If you think you're up to snuff, why don't you have a crack at it on our behalf? Of course, that means that once you got it, it's ours. Don't try to sneak off with the prize now. <laughs> Come on! If we can't do it, do you really think this guy stands a chance? An initiation test, eh? Interesting. It's been a while since I've been assessed by someone else. The loot's on the opposite cliff. We're gonna hang back here and watch the show. Huh, no problem. Don't blink, though, or you might miss it. Well, I have the goods. Here you go. So how'd I do? Pretty well, I'd say. B brother what do we do? This fellow isn't normal. Please, hold on a moment, sir. We need to discuss something amongst ourselves. He ain't here for an initiation. He just wanted to show off. Honestly, we'd be no match for him if he wanted a fight. Guys, do you think that maybe... We're being robbed? I don't know. Surely, he wouldn't have come here all dressed up like that if he was only after us. Unless... Maybe his words have hidden meaning. Snezhnaya, three months. 
600,000? Oh, I get it. It was insider talk. I remember that the boss took out a 600,000 more alone from that Snezhnayan bank about three months ago, and still hasn't repaid it. So this guy must be the debt collector. But why didn't he just say so? What's with all the toy talk? <laughs> and that's where you're still green. See, in a lot of professions like this, people speak in code to protect the privacy of their business partners and clients. Makes sense. Owing money is pretty embarrassing. This guy isn't one to mess with, I tell you. He's a professional. Way too professional. So, Mr. Salesman, my apologies, but we can't have you joining us. Oh? I didn't pass? I must say, I never imagined that the treasure hoarders would have such strict entry requirements. No, it's not that. What we mean is that you're too big a fish for our little pond. But we fully understand the situation with the... Uh, toys, sir. We'll fetch that 600,000 for you right away. Uh, <laughs> I see. Well then, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. We get paid, and everyone stays happy. A wonderful outcome, wouldn't you say? Uh, yes. Uh, couldn't agree more, sir. That's my brother for you! Toy sellers are so cool! Ah, Master Child, you're here. A no. new batch of fresh recruits have just... Hey now, keep your voice down. Can't you see I'm entertaining some clients over here? Clients? Uh, well, anyway, the Motherland has dispatched a new batch of recruits to Liyue. They've just arrived, and I'm afraid we must trouble you to speak to them. Ah, uh, do I have to? Now is hardly the best time. I must apologize for troubling you, Master Child, but they are already waiting for you south of Lingju Pass. Every new batch of recruits must be baptized by the Tsaritsa's will, through the words of her harbingers. This has always been our rule. At present, Master Child, you are the only harbinger in Liyue. Please, everyone is standing in formation and waiting for you to bestow this honor upon them. <sighs> well, all right, then I'll go. Just give me a moment to catch up with my brother, and I'll be right with you. Do you have to keep working? Yes, too, sir. We have a group of new toy sellers fresh in from the motherland, and I need to go teach them the ropes. Wow, that's great! When I grow up, I want to be a toy seller, too. Can I go listen? Hmm, I'm afraid you're still too young, too, sir. I'm not sure if you'd understand much of it, and most of it's rather boring anyhow. Why don't you go play with the Traveler instead? Sound good? I really do have to go now, too, sir. A lot of people are waiting to see me. I'll see you around, all right? Child really dotes on his brother. But now he's got to ditch him again. Must be a really tough job. Yeah, you're right. He hasn't done himself any favors with the whole toy seller cover story. To think he'd go this far just to prevent his family from seeing his... dark side. Paimon wonders too. But hey, let's at least help him out while we're all in Liyue. Wait! Uh, where's Tuser? Freaking Tuser. Uh, we were too busy chatting! Where'd he go? Uh, seems likely. Tuser did seem really eager to hear his brother's speech. Either way, let's head over there first. What, none of these are gonna hit, like... It's like you're missing on purpose, you freaking rat. Oh, 
learn to replenish your supplies often when you're out in the wild. I charge a higher rate to meet outside the More speed. From this day forward, you will honor the oaths you have made to Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, and you will stop at nothing to bring Snezhnaya victory. You shall sweep through this land like the icy winds of the furthest north, as strong as the hoarfrost of Zeppeljarni Palace. You will chill the very marrow in our enemy's bones. Her Majesty expects of you loyalty, ruthlessness, and meticulousness. For the trials that we face are harsh, and our enemies are like... <clears throat> and like kites and rattle drums who shall become redoubtable foes of Mr. Cyclops in the marketplaces of Liu. Uh-huh. Kites are really fun, too. What do we do with our feelings? We hide them in our muscles. And how do we hide our feelings This is, better? of course, an analogy, <laughs> as they say. The marketplace, too, is a battlefield. Hmm. Uh huh. Hmm? So as your sales manager here in Liyue, I demand that you obey my every order. A refusal shall be considered a betrayal, and the price for betrayal is to be dishonorably discharged from... <clears throat> uh, from the Liyue Institute of Toy Research. Whoa, that's really strict. Won't people be really sad if they get fired from the Institute? Huh? <sighs> Seeking to please everyone pleases no one at all. Time to try something else. Forget it. Perhaps a round of hands-on training will suit us better. Hands-on training? After all, uh, a strong body is the proof of one's capacity. Hey. Did... Did he just say that we're doing hands-on training? A Harbinger wants to spar with us personally? Well, what an honor! I can't believe it! Are recruits like us really worthy? 
Am I hearing a hint of objection to this idea? Not at all, sir. sir. That's the spirit. Now come at me, you lot. Frozen. Crisp. No time to lose. Stabilize quickly. I will have order. Illusion shattered. You need to hurry up. An unfortunate force. Understand what I said earlier? Yes, yes sir. sir! Excellent. And you all almost managed to get me limbered up. In other words, you've done well for new recruits. Thank, Thank you, Lord, Lord Harbinger! Harbinger. <laughs> all right, hush now. <clears throat> now then, I wish you all glorious victory for Snezhnaya, for Her Majesty the Tsaritsa, and for yourselves. Dismissed! Brother! You are amazing! Oh, Tusser! What in the world are you doing here? There I was thinking that the Traveler had taken you to play at Wang Xuin. <laughs> Yikes! That's some terrible acting! <laughs> I told you, didn't I? I never pass on an opportunity to improve my strength. I'm not the man I was when we first met. <laughs> <laughs> you must mean my foul legacy transformation. It puts a great strain on my body, so it's best saved for crucial moments. I still haven't fully recovered from the injuries I suffered when I used it at the Golden House. Anyway, I'm no Senora. I don't use lethal force against recruits. Come on now. The foul legacy transformation? It doesn't make you stronger than Mr. Cyclops? Uh, you could say that. I want to learn to fight too. I want to be cool like you. Now too, sir. Fighting isn't about looking cool. You can only continue to get stronger if you know the reason why you're fighting. I can teach you, but think carefully first. Why do you want to fight? I... Hmm? I... I want to protect Sister Tonya. That's a good answer, Tusser. When I return to Snezhnaya, I will start teaching you fighting techniques. Then you'll have to protect Tonya for me. How does that sound? <laughs> Leave it to me! You know, Tusser's a good kid when he's not being so stubborn. You've had a nice long time here in Liyue, haven't you, Tusser? Isn't it about time that you took the boat back home? But, 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 you've been so busy, and we didn't get any time to play together yet. Tusser, you know I'm very busy at work. And hasn't it been fun traveling all over the place with a proper traveler? He's just worried he won't be able to keep up the toy seller act forever. Well, how about this? If you just do one little thing for me, I'll be a good boy and go back home. Oh dear, who taught this little devil to bargain? <laughs> All right, what'll it be? Take me to visit the Institute of Toy Research! Do you think he means that ruin that the Millilith was talking about? The one where all the ruin guards were coming from? Done deal. After all, you've come all this way for me too, sir. As your brother, it's only right for me to grant you one last wish before you leave. Exactly! <laughs> um, 
<laughs> are you sure this is a good idea? It doesn't seem like the best place for kids. You should come along too, Traveler. This time, it's Tooser's turn to take you sightseeing. Hmm, let me think. Ah, yes, the Institute of Toy Research is not far at all from Lingju Pass. Now, Traveler, you're not the sort of person who would disappoint a kid now, are you? You piece of garbage. Why are you ganging up on us again? Oh, fine. We'll go. Here we are. Welcome to Liyue's Institute of Toy Research. Yeah, we're here! I can already hear the sounds of machinery inside. Awesome! What is this place? And how do you know about it? Based on my limited understanding, I believe this is one of Dottore's research facilities. Dottore is another one of the Fatui Harbingers. He loves tinkering with old things. It's a personal passion of his. So, he converted these ruins into a Ruin Guard research lab. Huh? So the Ruin Guards are built by the Fatui? No, they have much closer connections to the Abyss. So, strictly speaking, they're as much our enemies as anyone else's. We just do research, nothing more. As to why the Ruin Guards have been moving outside of this area recently, I can only imagine that he's gotten bored of playing around with them, and has lost interest in this place. Wow, yet another! Harbinger with a bad attitude. But at least this explains why you were totally okay with bringing Tooser here. Seems you did your homework ahead of time. Well, I wouldn't go quite that far. I actually have no idea what this place is like on the inside. Wait, so are you or are you not worried about your brother's safety? Of course I am. But no matter what the danger is, I will parry it. Isn't that what any older brother would do? Even Tusser understands that, now that he knows what he's fighting for. It's the very same reason that's been nestled in my own heart for so many years. What are you guys chatting about? Come on, let's go in! <laughs> Alright, follow me.
Brother? Someone was saying that Mr. Cyclops is a killing machine. Were they now? What a silly thing for them to say. And you shouldn't go repeating it either, Tuser. You're far too young to be talking about such violent topics. Yeah, I knew that they were lying anyways. Mr. Cyclops is here to defeat the bad guys and protect the world! He's my favorite toy! Right. With Mr. Cyclops around, the bad guys won't ever get you. <laughs> That's right! Okay, I'm going to go play with Mr. Cyclops now! Hey, Tuser, wait up! The, the door shut! Will Tuser be alright? There's another path over there. Let's move. Freaking Tuser. What a bratty kid. That's right. But give me a moment over here, Tuser. I need to make sure that everything's safe. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have spoiled him quite so much. Yeah, literally. Those ruin guards have all been strung up. Where are they being taken to? I don't know. But if there's a chance it's where Tuser is, we need to stop this before things get ugly. Frick you, brother. Break that spider. See that big stone cube in front of you? I need your help. Yay! 
Do I really get to help my big brother out? You bet. Now I'll count down from three, and then we touch it together. Ready? Three, two, one. It's a witch ray that will turn you into a little lamb if it hits you. So stay out of its way. <gasps> That's scary. Back together at last. You're not hurt, are you, Tusser? Hurt? No way. This is really fun. Fight for you, maybe. We were all scared to death. What's over there? Wow, this room is huge. Is this where Mr. Cyclops takes his friends when they come to visit? It is. Impressive, isn't it? Now, how about a little game of hide-and-seek? Now? Uh, but... <laughs> I have a surprise for you, you know. A surprise? Oh, what sort of surprise? Don't worry, you'll have the chance to look for it later. But before that, you have to close your eyes, turn around, and count down from 60. Okay. 60 is a really long time, though. There's not much time. Let's clear all these hazards out. few numbers, you little rascal. <laughs> you know this. All right, all right. 15, 14, 13. Another ten seconds, Tusser. Still hiding. Huh. Now who's the cheater? <laughs> All right. Ten seconds, that's it. <laughs> Transformation again. Awesome! <laughs> 
Boy, if these Mr. Cyclopses weren't so big, I'd sure love to take one home. Wait, where'd he go? Where'd my brother go? You guys are playing. Supposed to be playing hide and seek. Clearly, kid. Oh, that's right. I was so excited that I forgot all about our game. Well, let's go look for him together, okay? Has we no more gun? It's a good thing that you two found me first. Looks like using the foul legacy transformation while I was still injured took more out of me than I thought. I have no idea what I'd do if Tucer saw me like this. Look at me, deflated as a burst balloon. <laughs> as I recall, you have siblings too, yes? I figured that you probably wouldn't take me out in front of my little brother. Really milking this situation, huh? Like I said, I can never pass on an opportunity to test my limits. And that's why I, Tartaglia, I'm always getting stronger. <laughs> anyway, childhood dreams are all too easily shattered. Even if you just leave them be, they will fall to pieces all by themselves. So someone has to protect them, right? If you make a promise, you keep it. If you make a mistake, you apologize. And if you give someone a dream, you defend it to the end. That is what family is all about, isn't it? <laughs> Remind you of something, did I? <coughs> Quit the tough guy act already! You need to see a doctor right away, mister! A fine suggestion, but first... I have a little something for Tucer. Please give it to him on my behalf. Huh? Is this... a Mr. Cyclops action figure? Indeed. I had made it to order by a smith some time back. I had intended to give it to him on my return to Snezhnaya, but it seems that it would make a better souvenir at this point. Wow. Now that Paimon thinks about it, Child's family are really lucky to have him, aren't they? <laughs> I'll also need you to explain my abrupt departure to Tucer. You'll help me out, won't you? <laughs> the cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. Ah, that nursery rhyme brings back so many delightful memories. Tucer taught you that one, did he? All right, thank you. Hey, too, so your brother ditched you. I can't find him anywhere. Where did he go? Really? Where is he? Yeah, so he had to leave. 
leave in a real hurry. He didn't abandon you here on purpose. Oh. Uh, well, that's great. But still, I was kind of hoping we could play here a little longer. Wow, look at this! I never knew that they made Mr. Cyclops in this size! Look, it even has my name on it! It's my very own Mr. Cyclops! You're really loving it, huh? You bet! My brother is the best big brother ever! You had a tour of Leela, you met your brother, visited the Institute of Toy Research, and got yourself a souvenir! Now that's what we tour guides call the perfect trip! Do you think you're ready to head back to Snezhnaya now? <laughs> Don't worry, I know I can't get my way all the time. That'd just be annoying for everyone else. So, let's go! Challenge complete. Gather. Oh. Solidify! Sir, young Master Tusser, I've been waiting for you. Did Child send you? That's correct. Master Child instructed me to arrange for young Master Tusser's return trip. Please, come this way. Who are you? My big brother always tells me never to go off with strangers. But you've been following us around this whole time. Yeah, that's because I've known who you are all along. 
Um, what? My brother told us all about you in a letter he sent back home. Sister Tonia read it to me. I actually recognized you the moment I saw you. I just couldn't remember your name. What a strange twist of fate. Not at all. In fact, he said that if he ever had the chance, he'd quit his job and join you on your adventures. Young Master Tusser, the boat to Shneznaya will dock soon. We'd best prepare for boarding. Gee, time really flies when you're having fun. Well then, see you, Mr. Nice Guy. I'll wait for you back home. You definitely, definitely have to come visit Snezhnaya sometime. Maybe in four years. Yeah! Pinky promise, pinky promise! You make a pinky promise, you keep it all your life. You break a pinky promise, Paimon throws you on the ice. The cold will kill the pinky that once betrayed your friend. The frost will freeze your tongue off so you never lie again. <laughs> It's a promise, then. Bye-bye, too, sir. Have a safe trip. Cute. Hey. Child? So you were here this whole time? What are you hiding for? Why didn't you come and say goodbye? Partings are special moments. If he spent his final moments in Liyue seeing me all haggard and weak like this, that's not a memory I want him to leave with. Still, it is a shame that I couldn't see him off by myself. <sighs> I should have been the one taking him back. I do have subordinates to escort him, but I still feel a little uneasy. Jeez, don't you think you've spoiled him enough already? <laughs> I can't quite explain it, but somehow I felt much more at ease leaving him in your care. And to think that not long ago we... Ah, yes, I almost forgot. Remuneration for your services, which I really couldn't have done without this time. Aha! So you do have a heart after all. You One other on. thing. Don't forget our promise now. Let's have a rematch when we get the chance. This time, with my honor as a harbinger on the line. You best go rest up first. Don't come crying to us when you lose all over again. <laughs> Regardless of who wins or loses our next bout, I'd also like to invite you over to my home. I'll introduce you to my other siblings, Tonya and Anthon. They're great kids, and I'm very proud of them both. We'll take you up on that offer. Mostly because we already made a pinky promise to two, sir. <laughs> I'm sure that he'll be very excited to see you too. Well, that settles it. I'm looking forward to it. Now, farewell, my friends, till we meet again. In Snezhnaya. So we meet again in Snezhnaya, and then we see him again in like. Where? In, uh. Inazuma. Blid.
see that he stays safe. B R B R B R B R B.
Osmanthus. Nobody has time for Osmanthus wine. Maybe a long quest. I've been streaming for two hours. Eh. That's enough for one day, I guess. Alright. See you guys later. <laughs>